Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our federal agents we're doing for our Pulp Alley campaign, right after this. Thanks for joining us guys. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the federal agents from the Chicago Way range from Great Escape Games, which we're repurposing for our Pulp Alley campaign. You might remember the last video, I talked about some films and TV series and that, that has inspired me over the years. Well, there's one I actually glaringly obvious I forgot about um, more recent uh, TV series, and that was Boardwalk Empire. It was on Sky Atlantic over here in the UK. Um, brilliant portrayal of Nucky Thompson. The first two seasons were excellent, um, and I, I think towards the end, the last sort of last sort of season, so it sort of waned out a little bit. But overall, the whole, se the whole series and that was brilliant, and that really, really good, and really gritty, and portrayed the uh, Prohibition uh, era very well. I thought uh, as a TV series. But uh, as I say, in the last video also, we talked about showing you Mel's uh, moonshiners that she's done and how she, and the reason why she'd done the way she did with the basin and everything else to make them look like they've got their stills out and hidden in the sheds and in, in, in the woods, etc. And that and really, really sort of thematic the way she's done those. And we also shown you a couple of the buildings, which I've got down here actually. Um, for, from foreground Chicago Way range, which obviously went with the Great Escape Games uh, uh, range of uh, game. Um, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the federal agents and we'll spin the camera around and we'll take a look. So here we have then the Prohibition agents for our Pulp Alley campaign. And these are the first four of the seven figures. And closest to the camera as you can look at him now come around with his Tommy gun, that is Lone Wolf Milan. He is an alloy in this, in this league. Next to him is good old Sean Connery Malone. And next to him with the badge in the air is Elliot Ness. And to his uh, right is good old Pat Roach. So that's the first four of this league. I'll just take them off, excuse hands, and I'll take them off. And I'll change them over to the next lot, so you can see. Keep it going. There we are, there's the first one there. Second one. The third one there. Again, this, this guys are in order. So coming around from the camera is uh, Dizzy Einstein. He was his pistol right to the right, he's got a ripped jacket. In the middle of there is Jack Jones, he's an ally. And to the left as it's coming round now, it'll be on the right when it comes back round, is a follower, it's Frank Hammer. Now, you might be wondering how we've done the bases on here. Bases were done with just normal MDF base uh, with green stuff over the top. And as the green stuff is drying, we used a rolling pin done by, it's got a, called a pavement rolling pin done by Green Stuff World. I'll just put it in camera for you, so let me get it in camera. Uh, there you go. I'll just spin him around so you can sort of see. And basically, while the green stuff is soft, um, you roll that over the top of it, let that dry, sort of two or three hours, but we left it overnight, and then go back in the morning and just clean up the edges of your bases and that. So again, I'll just take these off and just pop them on so you can see. Just turn it off a minute. Oops, excuse me, not the camera now. So that's what it is. And as I said, green stuff world, they do loads of different types of ones, and then and then you can see see the reflections and that on the on the rolling pin, and you just roll that over your green stuff. And as I said, they do several different types of those. Um, and very, very useful. I actually might look at getting some more of them than that. So that's it, that's the uh, Prohibition Agents, and I'll show you some of the terrain we've been building for this. So here we have then, guys, the foreground buildings we've done so far. Two of these you've seen in the last video, obviously with the old four tires, which you're looking at now, and obviously the tobacconist, but I didn't show you actually inside the building, so I thought I'd show you that in this video. So here we have then, inside, two rooms in there. Obviously you've got an outside door going leading outside there, I've got the front door there, and the door leading between the two rooms. Imagine sort of like putting a, a work counter in there, a couple of desks in the other side, or some tires and that where they're selling them out of, or even the moonshine. You just don't really know, do you? Hey, so these are really good, lovely sort of detailing inside and that in these buildings. Really, really go together really well. So I'll just move this one out of the way a second. Pop him just to there. Pop that over there. There we are. And the Davis Jewelry, that's the new building we've done this week. So I'll just bring him forward here so you can see him. And likewise, again, you can imagine obviously coming in, going for a little bit of a shoot out in there. You know, you can imagine another like little work counter in there, a couple of sort of filing cabinets in the back of the office here. But again, all the doors open up really nicely. And again, nice little colorized detail in that inside. 
So that's uh, Davis's jewelry. Let's pop in there. And obviously the tobacconist, which obviously you've seen last week, but I didn't show you inside. Likewise, again, we've added a couple of posters and that in there. All the doors work, as you can see. Let's just do this one here. But yeah, they are they are really, really, really well done. And as I say, I love all the colorized bits and that inside that you they, they do, four grain do. Um, but yeah, go together extre extremely well. So I'll just pop this over there. So you guys can sort of see. And like I said before, you've got separate sidewalks and that that you can get, which you just add that into there. Just pop that up into that. Pop that in there and that around there. There you go. You've got starting to get. I lift that up. You can sort of see. Bring the camera back a bit. And you can start to see it's starting to come together very nicely. Well, what do you think of that then, guys? Brilliant. I'm really excited for this project. Already I'm sort of conjuring up ideas and scenarios in my head. And the Pulp Alley sort of the plot point system and that you have in the games for creating your stories and that really does lend itself for this type of gaming. If you've not checked it out before, go and check out Dave Phipps' YouTube page. Uh, I'll leave links to that in the description below with the two live games that we've played. But also check out his other videos and that. Been brilliant. He's very, very enthusiastic about his product and so he should be. Also check out his uh, Facebook page, which I'll, again I'll leave in the description below. Lots of guys in there doing lots of different things, lots of different games and always very friendly and willing to help anyone out in the, in the hobby. Also, I'll put links in the description below for foreground uh, for the building range. Uh, Sally Forth for the cards and bits and pieces which you can get over here in the UK. And also, I'll leave links in the description below for Great Escape Games for where we've got the miniatures from. So, without further ado, guys, we hope you're enjoying this. Part three will be the gangsters. And until next time, guys, please stay safe and happy wargaming. gaming.